Hello, I'm Robin. Welcome. This is Cultivate Patience Introduction to Ashtanga and today is day 16. Yesterday we worked on our standing balance posture Utita Hasa Padangustasana where we lifted up a leg, bent or straight, held it, maybe folded over for five breaths, opened it out to the side for five breaths, came back, held it out for five breaths and lowered on each side. So it was quite intense, especially I'm not <laughs> warmed up. Today we're going to do the second one of those, which is called Ardha Bada Padmottanasana, which is like tree pose, but not. I'll show you. We have a, a few options there. So we'll, in the interest of time, we'll just do some of the standing um, postures before that. So let's get started at the top of our mat, as we've been doing with our feet parallel to one another, whatever distance feels good. I have my big toes together with my heels slightly apart. Spread your toes and gently plant them back down. Feel the four corners of your feet root down into the earth. Gently lift up through your kneecaps, through your pelvic floor muscles. Pull your belly up and in. Soften your shoulders as you lift the crown of your head up towards the ceiling or the sky. And then maybe close your eyes for a moment. And start to feel yourself on your mat. Noticing your body. Noticing where your mind is. And start to bring it right here to this present moment. As you come into your breath. Breathing slow and steady in and out through your nose if that is comfortable. With a gentle constriction in the back of your throat, your ujjayi breath. Trying to maintain your breath throughout the postures throughout your practice, right until the end. And you can release it in your Shavasana or in your meditation. Bring your hands to heart center. Set an intention, a dedication, or maybe a mantra. Could be the opening mantra that we've gone over. We'll take a deep breath in for the Om. Inhale. Om. Hands by the side. Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold in half, hinge at your hips, bend your knees if you need. Inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back to a plank. You can go right to down dog or lower to your belly or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Taking whatever movements you need. you widen through your sitting bones. Make a lot of space around your neck. You should gently open up through your shoulders. 
through the whole back body. And then look forward to your hands and step or hop forward. Take a half lift, lengthen. Maybe you're using your blocks if you have them. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands by the side. Samastitihi. Again, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back. Chaturanga or your belly. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Feeling your body start to warm. Gazing at your navel or in between your legs, your drishti. One more breath here. And then look forward to your hands, step or hop forward, take a half lift and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands by the side, Samasitihi. One more, inhale, arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold in half, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, or whatever option you need. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Five breaths, one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Exhale completely. Look forward, step or hop forward and take that half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Samasthiti. All right, Surya Namaskar B. Bend your knees, arms up, chair pose. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step or hop back. Moving through your flow. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step your right foot forward. Pivot your back heel down. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. And flow. Or skip it and just go to down dog. Listening to your body. Left foot comes forward. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat and vinyasa moving with your breath parallel your feet reach your heels towards the mat they don't have to touch Spinning your thigh bones, your inner thigh bones back, having an internal rotation at your thighs. Good. 
One more breath here. Look forward to your hands, step or hop forward, take a half lift and fold. Bend your knees, arms up, chair pose. Stand tall, samastitihi. One more. Bend your knees, arms up, chair pose. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot comes forward, back heel down, rise up, Virabhadrasana A or one. Hands down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot comes forward, rise up, warrior one. Hands down and flow. Moving at your pace. Modifying where you need, skipping what you need. Just focusing on your breath, your drishti. As you tune into your body. One more breath here. And then look forward to your hands, step or hop forward, take a half lift and fold. Bend your knees, arms up, chair pose. Stand tall, samastitihi. All right. So it was some three sun A's and two sun B's. We'll keep working up. It's supposed to be five sun A's and three to five sun B's. So the next two postures, we're gonna skip Padangustasana and Parahastasana. We're gonna step our right foot back for triangle pose, Trikonasana. And you can have a block or something handy if you would like to use. Pivot your right leg, heel to arch alignment or heel to heel. Bump your uh, left hip to the back. Reach forward and hinge. Rest your hands on your shin. A block, maybe you're grabbing your big toe today. You're lengthening through both sides of your waist, maybe looking up towards your thumb or looking down for more balance. You draw your shoulders away from your ears. Press into your feet, inhale, rise back up to the front. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Feeling this external rotation at your left hip. Those slow and steady breaths. You're breathing space into your body. And then inhale, come back up to the back for revolve triangle pose. Reach with your left hand forward as you hinge at your hips, pulling in your belly. Can lower your left hand on the inside as we've been doing or the outside. Turning your torso to the right. Maybe your right arm sweeps up. So you pull in your outer hips. Lift up through the arches of your feet.
and then inhale come up to the front for the second side left hand on my left hip reach forward with my right hand feeling that crease at my hip maybe taking my hand to the block as i revolve my torso maybe lifting my left arm up pressing down to lift up Getting more length with every inhale. And then inhale, rise back up, parallel the feet, extend the arms. Step or hop your feet together and come back to the front of your mat. Samasthiti. So from here we would do the side angle series, Parshvakonasana, we're gonna skip that and then the wide-legged forward folds um, we're going to skip those two we're going to go to pyramid pose parsvottanasana so you're going to step your right foot again to the back adjusting your stance taking your hands behind your back if that's possible reverse prayer or opposite elbows or maybe you're taking your hands to the blocks in front Lift your chest as you inhale and exhale, hinge forward. You could stay halfway. You could start to lower your torso over your leg. Squaring your hips, maybe gazing at your big toe. Pressing that big toe down for balance, as well as the pinky side edge of your back foot. Retracting your shoulders, one more breath. And then inhale, come up, keep your arms where they are, if they're in a position. And then to the other side, adjusting your stance, Lifting up as you inhale and exhale, hinge forward. Shining your heart forward. Finding that length. And when you're ready, maybe folding over your leg, chin towards your shin. Seeing how far your body wants to go, not forcing anything. And then inhale, come back up, parallel the feet, extend the arms, step or hop your feet together, back to the front of your mat. Samasitihi. So from the front of your mat, you'll start your standing balance, just as we did yesterday, standing on our left foot, lifting our right leg up, Udita Hasta Padangustasana. We're going to skip that today so we can prepare for the new posture. So if you have blocks, you can have those handy or a chair. The first might be familiar to you. It is going to be tree pose. So that's going to be one option. So you're gonna stand on your left foot, lift up your right leg, open up the hip, take the sole of the foot anywhere along the leg, even keep it grounded. Avoid the knee. Bring it up as high as possible, pressing the foot into the leg and the leg in the foot, into the foot, opening up through the hip, pulling in your belly, maybe taking your hands to prayer. You can also grow your branches up or out to the side. Finding a drishti. Steadying your balance.
And bring your hands back to prayer. If they're not, bring your knee forward and release. All right, other side. Open up that left hip. Let's see where you want to take your leg. You don't have to come up as high as I am. I'm just preparing my body for, for what's to come. You could be down lower. You're squeezing your left glute, opening up through the hip, pulling in your belly and your pelvic floor muscles. And still trying to maintain that standing leg line of Sama Sitihi. Maybe growing your branches out or up. Softening your face, your jaw. And bring your hands back to prayer. The knee comes forward and release and shake. All right. The next um, thing we're going to do is, uh, again, not the posture. It's, gonna, it's a figure four stretch, a standing figure four stretch. And if you want to take your hands to blocks in front of you, or if you can fold all the way over, you can do that. So you're going to shift your weight again to your left leg. Lift your right leg up. Flex the ankle and cross it over. So this is a standing figure four stretch. You might have done figure four in other yoga classes. So you can stay here opening up through this hip or you can start to hinge at your hip, widening through your sitting bones, starting to lower down to your blocks on any height. You don't want any pain in your knee or your hip. I want to feel a gentle sensation through that hip, through that outer thigh. Feeling that crease at your hip. Maybe noticing if you can fold a little bit more forward. You can even press into that flexed foot with your left hand to assist the stretch. And then slowly start to come back up, lifting your knee and releasing or sending it down at any point. Shaking it out and we're going to do the other side. So this is all in preparation for our new posture. So you're going to lift up your left leg, flex your ankle, cross it over. You could stay right here in a standing figure four. This could feel really good to open your hips. You could hold on to a chair or a wall. Or you can start to lower that, lower down, widening your sitting bones, reaching your thighs back. Maybe taking your hands to your blocks or to something else that's like a block that you have at home. Maybe gently pressing into the foot. No pain around your knee, your ankle, your hip. If so, back out. You want to protect your joints. Be very mindful of your body, especially as we get to this new posture, which is our, going to be our first lotus foot. And it is not possible for everybody to do. So just be aware of that and see how far you need to take it. And then slowly start to come up and release okay you can keep the blocks there i'm going to move them out of the way so that you can see me all right ardha bada padmottanasana you're going to shift your weight to your um, left leg again lift your right leg up start in the tree pose as we were doing as high up as possible and maybe this is where you're going to stay 
maybe you can take that foot keeping that external rotation at your hip very important and bring the pinky side edge of your foot into your hip crease you want this leg to release <laughs> whoops away from your hip and you might stay here for five breaths or maybe you're going to take your um, right arm behind your back and hold on to your elbow and stay here or maybe you can I have my microphone there you can reach around and grab your big toe and lift your left arm up if so and you don't have to do this you can watch you would fold forward over that standing leg right at that hip crease holding on to your big toe taking your left hand in line with your left foot, retracting your shoulder blades, and breathe for five breaths. Your hand can be on a block here as well, reaching your chin towards your shin, just like you did in the pyramid pose. And then after the five breaths, You'd put a bend in the knee, inhale, look up and lengthen. Exhale there, and then inhale, rise all the way up and release the foot. All right, how'd you do? Where did you stop? Most likely you didn't go all the way and that is fine, it took years to do. Um, but maybe your hips are more open. So it just depends on your body. We're gonna try the other side because your hips can feel very different. So you're gonna take your stand on your right leg, lift your left leg up, come to tree pose. And why we did the figure four is to show the hinging at the hip and folding over, and you could do that instead as well. You really wanna get this opening of the hip, the length in the spine, if you're staying upright. You could stay here or you could see what it feels like to take the foot into your hip crease, maybe reaching the arm around your back and holding your elbow and staying there or reaching for the big toe. And if you're close, you can take a strap also around your foot or you can start to hinge forward at your hip and maybe you get your toe there. And then I'll show with a block. You can take a block and fold over. You want to be releasing your left thigh bone so that your knee point is down. Keep your knee nice and safe, not force anything. If you're in tree, you can grow your branches. Only fold forward if you're able. Only take the lotus if you can. And then inhale, look up. Exhale there. Inhale, rise up nice and slow. And exhale, release and shake. All right, so that is our standing balance work. Two standing postures in the, in the primary series. And from here, what we're going to work on tomorrow is our postures the next couple of days that you already um, have seen. Utkatasana and Warrior 1, holding those for five breaths. And we're going to get into Warrior 2 before we get to our seated work. So that's what's coming up. But for today, we're going to flow down to the floor. It requires a lot of concentration and balance and focus to work on balanced postures as we work on a balance in our body being content wherever we are, loving ourselves, no matter what. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, half lift, lengthen your spine. You can go through your flow or just go back to down dog. Inhale, up dog if you're doing that. Exhale, down dog. Just noticing how you feel in your body. Now 
how much more space you have around your hips, your legs. And then look forward to your hands, maybe widening the distance in between your hands and bringing your feet closer to your hands. And then maybe practice jumping through, starting to walk forward, crossing your ankles, pulling in your bandhas, sliding your body through and lowering down. All right, we're gonna low, lie down on our backs. We did a lot of work. Hug your knees into the chest. This is not Ashtanga, but this might feel really nice. You can circle your shins. Open up your arms to a T, to a T or a goal post. Drop your knees over towards your left elbow and look to the right, spine twists. Requires a lot of core work and the standing balance. your core come back to center over to the other side maybe bumping your hips a little bit to the left and your knees go to the right meld your shoulders onto your mat feel your breath in your whole torso And use your core, come back to center, take any final stretch or posture before you release into your Shavasana. Maybe using your props under your shins, under your knees. Stay here as long as you need. You could press pause. But if you're ready to come back, bring small movement into your hands and your feet. Maybe circling your ankles and your wrists. You could reach your arms over your head. You're first waking up in the morning. And then roll to one side. Just noticing how you feel in your body, coming back to your intention or whatever you said at the beginning. And 
Noticing if any emotions have come up from the hip opening. Just taking it all in, being the observer. And then when you're ready, slowly press yourself up to a seat, taking your time. You can come to any comfortable seat. You can sit up on your props. You can sit Sukhasana cross-legged. Or maybe you're ready to take Lotus after our um, work today, taking your right foot into your hip crease and then your left. You don't have to do this. Only if you have the space. No pain in your knees. Wherever you are, take your hands to your heart. With a lot of gratitude for the practice, the breath, the body, yoga. We will close with the sound of Om. Inhale. Om. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing today. Let me know in the comments how you're enjoying the practice, what other things you're looking forward to. Subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up, and I hope to see you tomorrow.